As part of our 10th anniversary celebration for the Shepherd's Market Food Pantry, I'm going to invite Teresa Sandifer to come forward. Teresa is our founding director of the Shepherd's Market and represents just one of the countless volunteers who over this 10-year history has made this feeding ministry possible. And so as Teresa and Marie get in place for our, our celebration now, I'm going to invite them forward to share in this special time. Hey, thank you. So I guess you've heard we're 10 years old today. Yay. And I, w I just want to say to God be the glory for that. You know, before every pantry shift, we, uh, we try to feed each other spiritually uh, by opening in prayer. So I've, I've written a prayer this morning, and I'd like y'all to join with me. Father God. Thank you for this amazing day that is full of joy and celebration. Thank you for guiding us over the years to be an active part of your kingdom on earth. Please continue to make us be instruments of your love and peace through our actions today and every day. Lord, please focus our minds, soften our hearts, open our eyes and ears to the truth of your word and the needs of those around us. Help us, Lord Jesus, to feed your sheep. Amen. Um, who remembers Reverend Liz Wyatt? I, I know I do, too. Um, she was an associate pastor here at St. John's for a long time, and it's probably been about 25 years. That's how long I've been around, I guess. Um, Liz told me once that um, she had a persistent thought that she, that St. John's should open a food pantry. I don't know how many of y'all knew that, that that was something she thought about a lot of because of our location. And um, she, she stopped by the Shepherd's Market a couple of years ago. Liz passed away, uh, uh, I don't two years ago, but maybe about a year before that, she stopped by the Shepherd's Market and um, she told me that she was so happy to see that her persistent thought had become a reality. And that conversation, it, it really got me to thinking about how long God has been working on us, you know? So many years ago, I think that's so amazing. Have you ever had a persistent thought or a recurring nagging thought? Mine, mine goes something like this, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. So I... Um, I, that thought has called me to uh, open the Shepherd's Market and this church to open the Shepherd's Market. It was on July 17th, 2012, exactly 10 years ago today. 10 years, it's a pretty big deal. It's double digits, it's a decade, and I think it makes us legit. <laughs> St. John's is now known as a church that feeds people spiritually and physically. We have grown into our vision and we put that vision into action three times a week at the Shepherd's Market. In the first month that we opened, we, we served almost 100 families. Last month, we served 414 families. And every month, we consistently serve, on average, 400 families. That's so many people. It's, we have been Christ's hands and feet to them. It's too many to count, but that part really doesn't matter. I know we're doing God's work. You should give yourself a big old hug and a pat on the back because it's time to celebrate you sheep feeders. And I hope you will join me some for some refreshments um, during coffee time. I wanna feed you and I wanna give you a little sheep. It, it, so make sure you grab one of these little bags. There's a little bitty sheep in there. He's a pocket sheep and he's meant to remind you to uh, say prayers of thanksgiving, that God led you to a church that's trying to make a difference in our community. Say a prayer of blessing on the food that we give out every week to families. Say a prayer that those families receiving food will feel God's love. Say a prayer for our donors and loyal volunteers who put in so many hours serving others with dignity and respect. 
I want to thank you, St. John's. Thank you for donating your time and your dollars. Thank you for your prayers and constant support. I wonder what we will be doing during the next 10 years. I want y'all to pay attention to those persistent thoughts because I have a feeling that God is not finished with us yet. Amen. I'm so glad to be part of the Shepherd's Market. I'm going on my seven year anniversary. Um, I was always the person in charge of everything and then I had to go on disability and, and I was in charge of nothing. And I felt guilty um, collecting a check and not putting out anything. So I said, Lord, put me where you think I need to be. And he said, the shepherd's market. And I hadn't even considered the shepherd's market. I just hadn't. But he said, go there. That's where I need you. And I said, all right, that's where I'll go. And it has been my ministry and my privilege to serve at the Shepherd's Market. Going on seven years now. I love it. I love just being with the people and making sure that they have what they need. Um, you, you develop a one-on-one -on -one rapport with the clients when they come in. And you, you learn you know, who needs what. And it's just, it's just a wonderful feeling to know that you're doing this. And everybody who comes across somebody who's been to the pantry says, oh, I've been there, the people. It was different. Everybody was so nice. And I said, it's because they're serving the Lord as they're serving you. And that's what makes all the difference. It is all for the glory of God. Because he said, feed my sheep. Just as the day was breaking, Jesus stood there by the sea. None of us aboard that boat could tell that it was he. Suddenly our net was full, as full as it could be. And John said, it's the Lord, and I rushed him to the sea. On the shore we ate with him, just like in days gone by. The words that passed between us, I'll remember till I die. He said, Simon, do you love me more than all these others do? I said, Lord, you have no closer friend. My love for you is true. Then he told me, feed my sheep. Feed Feed my sheep, feed my sheep. As if he disbelieved me, he asked me twice again, till I said, Lord, you know everything. You know I am your friend If you're my friend, he said You'll do the things I say To love my sheep as I do Till I come for them that day Then he told me Feed my sheep Feed my sheep Feed my sheep just feed my sheep. Words of love are easy, actions make it real. Promises are worthless, it depends on how you feel. A hireling learns his wages, and he runs when wolves come near. The shepherds guard his charges, and never yields to fear. All he said was feed my sheep 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 
Feed my sheep if you really love me. Feed my sheep if you really love me. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Everybody sing with me. Feed my sheep. Thank you.